Good day everyone! Welcome to Math Made Easy with Mom Bell. And if you are new to this channel, Lovely Day with Bell, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be notified to my upcoming videos, okay? Before we go to the main topic of our lesson, which is addition and subtraction of fractions, let's have a review first on types of fractions. So in math, there are three major types of fractions. They are proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fraction. Fractions are those terms which have numerator and denominator. And based on these two terms, we define its types. So fractions are the terms used to determine the parts of a whole object. For example, a pizza is divided into four pieces, so each part of it is represented as one-fourth of the pizza. Okay, so here, one is the numerator and four is the denominator. Based on numerator and denominator, apart from these three major types of fractions, there are three more types of fractions, namely, similar and dissimilar fractions and equivalent fractions. Hence, there are in total of six types of fractions such as proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction, similar fractions, dissimilar fractions, and equivalent fractions. Note that the first three fractions are defined for a single fraction but the other three fractions determine the comparison between two or more fractions. In real-life scenarios, all the measured quantities cannot be an absolute whole number. We may have to deal with parts and portions of whole things, and this is where the concept of fraction comes into the picture. Let's discuss first the different types of fraction. By the way, a fraction is considered to be the ratio of two numbers. The upper number is called numerator, and the lower part is known as the denominator. When a whole of something is divided into the number of parts, then each part is referred to as a fraction. In a fraction, the denominator represents the number of equal parts in a whole and the numerator represents how many parts are being considered. In this fraction, say, a pizza pie has been divided into four equal parts. If someone has three-fourths of the pie, they have three of those four equal parts. Now, what is a proper fraction? It is a fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator. Like for example, 3 fifths. 3 is smaller than 5. What is an improper fraction? A fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator, then it is known as an improper fraction. For example, 9 over 5 or 9 fifths. What about mixed fraction? A mixed fraction is the combination of a natural number and fraction. It is basically an improper fraction. For example, 2 and 1 third. What about similar fractions? The fractions which have the same denominators are called similar fractions. For example, 1 half, 3 halves, 5 halves, 7 halves are similar fractions. The simplification of these fractions is easy, as all the denominators here are same. Suppose we need to add all the similar fractions, then just add the numerator and copy the denominator, and then change to lowest term. What about dissimilar fractions? The fractions which have different denominators are called dissimilar fractions. For example, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth are dissimilar fractions. Simplifications for such fractions is a little lengthy method since we need to factorize the denominator first and then simplify them in case of addition and subtraction. Suppose we have to add 1 half and 1 third. Then first we will find the LCM of 2 and 3 which is equal to 6. Now we need to multiply 1 half by 3 and 1 third by 2, both in numerator and denominator. The fractions become 3 6 and 2 6. Now, if we add 3 plus 2 equals 5, and then copy the denominator 6, then we get 5, 6. Let's go to the last type of fraction, which is equivalent fractions. When two or more fractions have the same result after simplification for which they represent the same portion of the whole, then such fractions are equal to each other and are called equivalent fractions. For example, 
One half and two fourths are equivalent. One third and three ninths are equivalent, since they represent the same portion of the whole and are equal to each other. So that's all for today, guys. Have a lovely day, everyone.